Now, when you look at uh, developing a policy of this nature, especially when you talk uh, of the fact that it will have teeth, yes. uh, so have to found. speak, yes. it's a um, and it's a, it's a treaty, um, when you look at what's happening in terms of each country, yes. uh, what are the challenges there? Because you talk even within Belize yes. of adherence to some of the policies that we've um, yeah. enacted. What will it be like and what kind of management structures will be in place to make sure that there is comprehensive adherence? Well, a part of the, a part of the policy itself is to continue to build capacity, mobilizing resources to, to address the, the challenges and the specific needs in each country to make sure that we can move from where we are to where we need to go. Capacity is a big problem. Um, it's a, fisheries is extremely difficult and complex, you know, as I mentioned at the beginning. Um, partly because it is in the sea, uh, uh, it's expensive to go to sea, it's expensive to get the data and information, it's expensive to send uh, patrol crafts out to monitor and to enforce and so on. No? Um, so each country's situation varies, each country's capacity varies. Mm. So we have to look at where they are at and we have to develop customized programs for each country um, based on a common vision, common objective, common principles, but customized to suit the local situation. And so in some cases, countries need to work on their legislation, for example. Mm -hmm. Legislation in most countries at this point, um, that they are outdated, and in some cases, woefully outdated, <laughs> badly outdated. So that's the basis, because while we want to achieve and do a lot of things, you can only move to the extent that you have legislative support and regulations mm -hmm. to do the things that you need to do. We are governed by the rule of law, <laughs> our countries, yeah. or we should be. <clears throat> I know we have challenges in, mm -hmm. in, in some cases, but we're governed by the rule of law. So, so um, I'm using this just, an, just as an example. <clears throat> um, many of our countries need to strengthen their laws and regulation, and so we will have to work with the countries um, to, mm -hmm. to, to do this. Um, but there are many other areas, and I mentioned capacity. Yeah. This, is, this, is a, this is an ongoing area. This is a difficult area for us, especially as small island developing states. You know, when not such a tra challenge, not such a problem. But because you see, resources are limited in our countries. And while um, countries recognize the importance of fisheries and the need to invest and so on, um, they also have to think about education. They have yeah. to think about health. And so they have to divide the limited resources among, among um, <coughs> all and these different sectors. You Why? mentioned one more so, thing in the policy I think that really has to be touched on because really and truly, uh, the, the persons who will uh, have, the, have the most impact when it comes to a, a common policy will be the fisher folk yes. um, because this is their livelihood. Yes. And you spoke about improving the welfare of fisher folk. Let's yes. talk about what's in the policy there. Right. Um, f first of all, there is a strong commitment in the policy mm -hmm. to improve the participation of fisher folk and other stakeholders, including the NGOs um, that have an interest in the fishery sector, to, to, to have them more involved in all aspects of the industry, in all aspects of uh, research, of planning, of decision making, <coughs> so, that, so that they can, their capacity can be enhanced and they can be involved in making the, the, the decisions mm -hmm. um, regarding their future because that's the only way um, that they are going to be <coughs> fully committed mm -hmm. because in the past we have had um, many policies we have had many plans that have ignored the, 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 the stakeholders the fishers mm -hmm. and so um, when time comes for implementation they are not with us they're not working with us because, you know, they have issues. So, so now we are engaging with them and we have a commitment to engage with them as a matter of principle and as a matter of law so that um, their needs and their issues can be factored in. Now, at the end of the day, the policy is all about improving wealth, improving the livelihoods of our people. 
and the fishers are at the forefront of this. So I mentioned that um, <coughs> we, are, we, are, we are looking at um, the, the, the conditions under which fishers operate. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that our fishermen who work so hard, toil so hard under such difficult conditions that we put in place um, good working conditions for them. You know, in other sectors of the economy, we have standards that govern mm -hmm. and, and, and regulate um, uh, working conditions. In the fishing industry, we need to have those um, types of conditions also. Um, but the fishers are really interested in improving their earnings, improving their income. Diversifying as well. Right. And so, and so an important component of the policy is addressing value added. The truth is um, we can add significant value to the, the fish that we capture from the sea. And I, let me give you an example. In Barbados, the flying fish fishery has been well studied. The value of the catch, the ex-vessel value, is $2 million. When that fish is transformed and processed, the value changes to $20 million, mm -hmm. uh, a tenfold increase, value added. So. The point and is what type a, of processing are you talking about there? Well, actually, is it just it's fillet and, and package, or yeah, fillet, packaging, and and, and so on, yeah, uh -huh. and 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 yeah. But these things they add value because well, okay, they add employment and so on, yeah, and uh, and well, you know, there there a lot of fish nowadays um, is not just taken as from the sea and put on the plate and and, and eaten. You get all type of fancy um, products that are prepared from fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get fish balls, you get fish cakes, you get fish fingers, you get all type of stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, 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 so it's not, these are not complicated things. Huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not talking about the level of canning and so on as yet, you know, but, you know, smoking, drying. When, when you smoke fish, you see smoke, sm sm smoke salmon, for example. Um, it is so expensive, you get these very few thin slices, and it costs mm -hmm. a lot of money. Just, but just by smoking and, and processing in that way, you add tremendous value. And so, and so one of our strategy is to look at what we have, we're getting, how can we add value to what we have? And in some cases, it may simply be to improve the quality. <laughs> if you have a good quality product and you're able to export that to the, to the European Union market, we have to find ways of uh, generating growth, generating employment for our people and this vast marine space that we have available to us, um, we can use it and we need to use the resources in these areas. You know, in the region, we have, our, our marine space is almost two million square kilometers. Our, our land space is less than 18% of the areas we have available to us for um, development. And our, 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 our activities have so far been focused largely on the terrestrial resources. So it's but time for us to dive in? It's time for us to dive in. <laughs> it's time for us to start swimming. It's time for, yes. Well, oh, we, 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 we need a sea change. <laughs> yes, a tidal, tidal wave change. <laughs> and I think that's the yes. best point for us to close off on at, that po at this point. Uh, we definitely want to thank you for being able to uh, share with us the uh, Caribbean community common fisheries policy and what it means for the wider communities across the Caribbean, for Belize, and for the individual fisher folk as well. Very important. Thank you very much. You know, the opportunities are exciting, and yeah. you know, the, the road ahead is still difficult, but with the will and the commitment, we can achieve um, our objectives. It's yeah. within our grasp, yeah. and we have to work together, all of us, men, women, youth, fishers, NGOs, politicians, everybody working together, we can achieve and we will get there. And the lobby continues to get all countries ready to, to sign Fine. on. Yes, okay. definitely. Thank uh, you very much. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to go ahead and take a final break and when we come back, it'll be for a wrap. Don't go anywhere. Oh yeah, concludes after this.